Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church. Each Sunday morning uh, with the message, we produce message notes that uh, help people kind of track with the message. Uh, they can write down a few notes, they can fill in the blanks, or they can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for them. There's also five days of devotional material here, which allow you to dig a little deeper um, to, uh, to really appreciate uh, the depth of the scripture and uh, take some time to think about it more deeply for yourself. And then uh, on Wednesday nights, uh, we do have a Zoom study that uh, love to have you join us if you've got time. And, uh, and uh, it, it's uh, call our church office at Central United Methodist Church here in Waterford, and you can get in on that. I want to read the scripture that we uh, started with this uh, past Sunday. We started a new series of messages, Jesus and the Psalms, for the season of Lent. And the first uh, scripture uh, comes from uh, uh, Luke. Uh, it's the, one I'm, the only one I'm going to read today. We're going to delve into the, a psalm a little bit later. But uh, this is from the fourth chapter of Luke, uh, verses 14 to 21. And Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. And news about him spread through all the surrounding district. And he began teaching in the synagogues and was praised by all. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and he was, and as it was his custom, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read. And the book of the prophet Isaiah was handed him and he opened the book and found the place where it was written, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to set free those who are oppressed to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. They got to add a blessing to the reading of this holy word. Yesterday we talked about music and how it can impact our lives. We talked about how music is a way of transporting us in time, giving us great memories, uh, gives us recall of times in our lives where things were very um, different perhaps for us. Uh, music has the power to uh, remind us of relationships. It has the power of, of uh, inspiring us toward action. Uh, it is a powerful medium uh, which impacts our lives. And I asked you yesterday to, uh, you know, write down a few things about your, um, uh, or at least think about them, write them down if you wanted to, uh, to think about the songs, uh, the hymns, the praise songs that uh, uh, affect your life. And I think about Jesus and the reading of this book of Isaiah, this passage from Isaiah, and how that must have uh, affected his life to think about what it would be mean to be called by God, to preach the good news, to, to proclaim release to the captives, recovery of sight of the blind. It's an amazing uh, and powerful passage. And just as Jesus was profoundly uh, affected by uh, the scriptures uh, through which he was trained and brought up, of course he was the son of God, but I think you know, being fully divine and fully human, the human side of him had to develop in some way. And so his mother and father uh, most likely taught him. That would have been the tradition within the Hebrew society in which he was brought up. And uh, the small synagogue uh, where he would have been uh, uh, brought up and, uh, and gone for worship. All those things would have been really wonderful for him to have been, um, to develop his faith and a greater understanding about his identity. So that he would come to this point, he reads the scripture, and he says, today the scripture is being fulfilled in your sight. He's kind of laying it out. <laughs> you know, later in the book of, of Luke, uh, Luke 24, 44, Jesus says, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the laws of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. So Jesus had this understanding about himself that he considered the scriptures 
to be pointing toward uh, his ministry, toward his time on earth, toward his interaction with people, and uh, everything written about him in the laws of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms uh, must be fulfilled. And I believe they were fulfilled in a variety of ways, but certainly, excuse me, certainly as Jesus was uh, shaped by the scriptures, we are shaped also by the scriptures and by the, the hymn books, the worship book. Just as the Psalms was the worship book of Jesus' people during his day, it continues to be for us today, um, our hymnal it can shape us. A uh, couple, couple examples for me would be, Oh, come all ye faithful. I always remember um, the first church I served, full-time ministry, uh, when we entered into the sanctuary on Christmas Eve services, we always sang one verse of O Come All Ye Faithful in the original, in, in the Latin. Uh, and it was just just really wonderful to do that. I really loved that. Um, and, and it was very, very um, fun to do that. Uh, another example would be the praise song, You Are My All in All. Um, I remember every, every time I hear that song now, <laughs> whether it be on radio or singing in worship, um, it transports me to the hillside of uh, Kentucky, uh, where uh, we went for the Music uh, Christian Festival uh, of Ichthus, and uh, having communion with uh, uh, twenty over twenty thousand of my uh, you know closest friends, uh, my youth group uh, being there and being part of that, and just seeing the the, the beautiful singing on the hillside as communion was being served uh, to that large group of people. It, it's powerful to think about how music shapes our lives. So friends, I want you to think about how uh, the hymns and, and praise songs, uh, how the scriptures have shaped you. How are you, uh, the person that you've become, shaped by your faith traditions of scripture, of hymns, the impact of, of uh, Sunday school teachers and parents, how has that all shaped you to be the person that you are today? I want you to think about that today. Pray a prayer of thanksgiving and, uh, and rejoice that uh, you had that opportunity to be shaped by all these great and wonderful examples of how God speaks to us in the world today. Praise songs, hymns, and scripture. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you. For those who have taught us to be faithful, for those who have shared with us uh, the meaning of Christ in their lives, the power of the Holy Spirit upon them, and the great examples that Scripture provides for us, as well as the hymns that inspire us, we ask that your blessing would be with us today, that we might dig a little deeper into our understanding of Jesus' call uh, to his earthly ministry and how he has made a difference in each of our lives. We ask that your grace be with us today as we go about our daily task, living fully for you and your purposes. Gracious God, we ask for this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. You have a great Tuesday, and God bless you.